So what's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 13 of our Portsmouth career mode. And as you can see on the screen, Barnsley are currently sitting in 24th in the EFL Championship. They've currently lost 22 games, drawn 4 and won a massive 0. And they've actually um, conceded 65 goals and only scored 13. So why am I telling you this? Well, the reason being is because we're taking them on, guys. We're taking them on in the round three of the FA Cup. So it's going to be a big test for us, but it's also going to be an eye-opener. Are we going to be able to survive in the championship if we get promoted? So let's see how we get on against Barnsley away from home. We've got Cannon down the left-hand side here, trying to get away from his man. And I suppose you're probably thinking, why are we playing with Cannon? Well, guys, the main reason is because... I didn't realise that we played just a couple of days ago. And uh, we took on Ipswich, I think it was, wasn't it? Uh, was it Ipswich we took on and we beat 5-1? I don't know. We, we t Well, we recently uh, played someone at the top of the table and uh, we've done fantastic. So it's now a, a difficult game, really, because Barnsley, we are expected to win this. We're on the up. Barnsley are on the down. Um, and they get the first chance of the game. And I know that actually, interestingly, one of you guys did actually comment about um, Portsmouth being drawn against Barnsley in the round four of the FA Cup in real life. So let's see if uh, we can beat them in round three and then um, Portsmouth go ahead and beat them in round four in real life. Good chance for Barnsley, though. They got a very good chance here. Fantastic from Bradgett. And now Ben Close. Oh, we kept you in the squad, mate, to try and give us some experience in the centre of the park. And you've just put us in trouble. But Rajit there um, has actually come back into the squad now, considering he had probably the worst debut ever. And we just can't seem to get the ball. And they've hit the outside of the post from an absolute mile away. A let off for us. Oh, lovely chance for us here, though. We got the ball across. Oh, that was so close to pass. But... Um, Bolton plays ball back inside to Ben Close. Ben Close out wide to Hornstrup. Hornstrup down this left hand side. Chips the ball across. Can we win that header? We can, but we can't get it on target. Oh, we've got a chance though. Can Evans get on? Evans, sorry, Williams. He can get on the end of it. Williams to put it in the back of the net. The Barnsley goalkeeper with a fantastic stop, and we needed to take that. So Bolton through to Williams. Uh, Williams to put the ball in the box. Can we win that header? We can't, but we've literally got a matter of seconds now um, before the referee blows his final whistle, unless Barnsley can really put a spanner in the works. Um, and we've got to vent for our lives now because we have deserved to win this game, guys. We have dominated with our second team against a championship side. We've completely and utterly dominated. And the last thing we want to do is concede a very late goal. So let's just try and hold on. Uh, he's offside. So unfortunately, we couldn't get the result we want. Um, and we didn't do as good as Portsmouth in real life. We haven't progressed to round four, not yet anyway. And we're going to have a replay, which we really do not want. So guys, for our next game of the episode, we are going to take a massive chance and we're going to sim it. Wimbledon are near the bottom of the division. They're actually second from bottom and uh, they're pretty much guaranteed to go down. Surely we're going to win, aren't we? Yes, we do. Cannon gets injured. We actually played the weakened lineup as well because we wanted our full lineup ready for the Barnsley game again. So we managed to uh, pick up three goals. Uh, Evans picked up two and Marquise picked up one as well. Cannon unfortunately got injured, but we're hoping it's not going to be too serious. But at least it was Cannon and not Marquise. You know what I mean. Um, so let's see what his injury is. Uh, we're not on track, I know that. Um, and the player, he's out for six weeks, so unfortunately we've lost him for a while now. And Harness has actually come to us saying he wants to play more. And uh, you do still have a place in the squad, mate. Don't worry about that. You will be getting some more game time. But it's now time to pretty much jump into the third round of the, um, what is it called, the, uh, the FA Cup against Barnsley. We currently drew the first one 0-0, but now we're going to be playing at Fratton Park and we have our first team lineup available as Brewster's just hit the 70 rating. So we should be able to win this game. Let's see if we can. Surely. Lovely chance for Harness though down this left-hand side. Look at the room he's got to run into. Lovely play from Harness as he plays the ball back to Oliver Skip and surely we do. Lovely, lovely goal from us. Just 13 minutes has taken us to open the scoring with our first team lineup out because this team is just banging form. Lovely play from Harness, swats the run of Oliver Skip. And this guy is actually picking up quite a few goals from the centre defensive mid position. I really do like this squad now. It's really taking place. Oh, what a goal that is. Our number 10, our playmaker, with a fantastic goal. And to be fair, Barnsley did really give a response in that second half. 
Um, they were really pressing. They were playing, well, committing bodies forward. And from the corner kick, we didn't, or they didn't get the ball clear. We win it back McCrory down the right hand side. It's a lovely cross. And um, what a finish that is on the half volley. That's not an easy skill. And he's bulleted that one into the back of the net. And it looks like we've wrapped up the game now. Really, really good result for us. Oh, and it was our fault. We've gifted them a lifeline now. I don't know what we were playing at the back there. Um, we just completely cocked it up, to be fair. Look, look, Brewster plays the ball back. And our two players run into each other. I'm not sure who number, who's number 17. Whoever number 17 is just runs straight into our own player. And that's a fantastic finish. But now we've got a game in our hands. Brown, though, through to Morris. Morris back through to Marquise. Marquise, oh, that was close. Nearly played the ball back through to Morris, who's just come on the pitch. Um, and now they have the chance to break. Can we win that with Watmore? We can. And now we have the chance to break with Rian Brewster. Back through to Marquise. Marquise waiting for a run of someone. Maybe he's going to go alone. Marquise takes it around his man and a fantastic save. What about that for a clearance from our goalkeeper, though? Similar to what um, uh, Gazaniga does in the Tottenham net. And can we score from it? Oh, we nearly do. But what a clearance it was. Brewster, unfortunately, doesn't get a goal in this game. But we've progressed to the fourth round of the FA Cup. And that is a fantastic result for us against championship opposition. So now for the third and final game of the episode. We're taking on Bolton away from home. What a massive game this is. If we win this game, there is a chance that we could go second in the division and we've also got a game in hand on Shrewsbury so it's such an important game we will go above Bolton by two points if we pick up the result so what a big game it is and let's see if we can pull off this result it's going to be a very difficult one but we're hoping our very best we're really hoping that we can get something from this come on Portsmouth what a difficult game this is going to be They've given the ball away to Oliver Skip. Oliver Skip through to Ben Close. But look how many men uh, Bolton are having behind the ball. But we can see the pass on for Marquise. Marquise! Get in there! On the hour mark, we're one new up. And uh, Bolton, even though they tried to pretty much camp behind the ball, it did not work. Fantastic ball through to Marquise. And that finish, lovely, into the bottom corner. And we're one new up. The ball through to Hawkins. Hawkins is going to try and set up uh, Billy Gilmore as Gilmore is going to try and take on his man, which he does do fantastically. Billy Gilmore just come on the pitch. Nearly, nearly scores an absolute wonder goal. So we've got the ball through to Hawkins now. Hawkins, unfortunately, doesn't have the pace. It's actually not Hawkins, it's Cook. Cook, our CDM, is going to go for goal and he has scored his first goal for the club. And what a fantastic way to get it. Absolutely incredible stuff from our number eight and pretty much prospect, our youth prospect, as we've gone 2 new up against Bolton and that's wrapped up the game now in the 92nd minute. But what about that for composure and that for a finish as well? He's got his back to goal, he's hitting it on the swivel. Will Cook, his first goal for the club as a senior player and it's come against Bolton to secure us all three points in a massive crunch match which has now taken us two points clear of Bolton Wanderers and it could have possibly put us in second place. Absolutely incredible. So we've got a transfer offer for Naylor, our captain. Uh, 690,000 from Toluca. We're going to go ahead and say no because he's only 28 years old and he is very versatile. He can play all over the pitch so we do not want to go ahead and sell him. We are in the transfer window guys but to be honest there's no action going on at all. Um, I haven't really got anyone in mind to buy. First of all, we have about 400,000 budget, so we can't buy anyone. And I don't see the point in loaning anyone either because we've got what we need. And we are also trying here. So actually their transfer budget, 323k. But our profit is 3.29 million. We've got to try and finish the season with 9 million. So it's going to be a tough one. And I think if need be, we've got these guys in the academy. We've got uh, Marcus Thomas, potential 72 to 90. Pretty decent. Uh, we've got this guy, shit, um, and then we've got this guy that looks very good, Declan Cook. Um, maybe it's uh, the other Cook's brother, just 
from another mother, you know, um, as uh, his potential 75 to 93. So Declan Cook and Lewis Cook going one-on-one -on -one to see who can get that CDM position. However, guys, that is in fact it for this episode of Career Mode. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it's going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos and career modes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.